Hey everybody, Eric with The Dramatic here and why I chose this song. But before I tell you why I chose Christmas Time by The Darkness, take a minute if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share. Some ways to support The Dramatic, the links are in the description below. Also, please do remember our ongoing fundraiser for To Write Love on Her Arms. We have two Teespring designs at our store. 100% of the profits from those two designs does go to support To Write Love on Her Arms. So here I am in my most festive, eccentric, and um, crazy get up for Christmas. I stole, for better or worse, Loretta's uh, Buddy the Elf dangly earrings. Y'all, they are poking my neck and making my jawline itch. And um, I uh, stole this from my bonus son, Josh. He's way smaller than me. I don't know if you can see how tight that is on my shoulders. Anyway, so uh, we just decided we'd be crazy for this one. At any rate, Ash Wells reached out to me. Check out his channel up here, Drums by Ash Wells. He said, hey man, I'd love to do a Christmas collab with you. So I was like, sweet. Um, Ash is always such a pleasure to work with. Um, and he's doing great things on his channel. So seriously, get over there and check him out. Um, and he said, let's let's do this song. So I didn't actually pick it. Um, but I had so much fun doing, I believe, in a thing called Love by the Darkness with Ash. Um, I was like, yeah, that sounds great. So as I started listening to the song, I love that it. it's fun. And um, I just, I, I really enjoy the singer's voice. Like, it's just funny. just does a lot of different things. But um, as I really started paying attention to the lyrics, um, after I kind of moved away from the music, from learning the song, um, I was struck with with something. There's two different like tones in the song. There is there is this certain sadness in the verses. There's like a memory, a remembering in the first verse, and in the second verse, there's like you know we, we spent the best part of last year alone um and it still hurts it still hurts and then it's like but don't let the bells end let them bring in peace don't let it end don't let it end and i was it spoke to me because so many christmas songs absolutely are have a holly jolly christmas right and all these all these things and i feel like at least for me, this song addressed uh, the hurt that can be associated with the holidays as well. Um, particularly well, all of the holidays. For me, it's uh, Thanksgiving through the end of February, you know. And um, you'll understand what I'm talking about if there's an empty seat at your table this Christmas. Um, and I, I've talked with several of you and I know that that you're in that situation, whether it's a, a parent, a sibling, a child. Um, there's always that empty seat. There's always this understanding in the depth of your soul that something's not right this, this Christmas again um, or for the first time. And I love the song acknowledges some hurt and then also says, but the joy and the peace that comes with Christmas, don't let it end. That's awesome. So my encouragement to you today is even if the holidays are difficult, God, I understand that. And um, even though it's difficult, I know that those that have gone before us would want us to celebrate and would want us to thrive, not just survive and make it through life. I know that's not always easy. Many times it's not. But we have so much to be thankful for, even in the pains and the losses of life. So I encourage you, acknowledge the loss. Focus on the blessings that God has given you in your life. Focus on the joy, the peace of Christmas, and focus on making somebody else's day. All right, we love you guys. We will see you next time for our final Christmas cover and the ever lovely Loretta will join me for that outro. I love when she's on camera with me. You guys, we will see you next time.